Yes, I think it's something like 3% of podcasts actually make money. Which I mean, not a lot. It's it really isn't. And I always I get you get a lot of people that ask you like how do I do this? And then you're just like, I don't know, man, you just, just keep doing it, I guess. I used to. Like I you're really good about responding to people who message you. And I think that opens you up to a lot, a lot more messages. I do. I think that's important. I do think that's important for me where I am. Yeah. Cause I'm, I mean, might... I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying why I am so accessible. And I certainly like, as things grow, you know, maybe that accessibility starts to low, but if someone like messages me on the Patreon or like on Twitter, like on the Patreon, I, I will almost lick yeah, and split I, be I like, Hey, when people message me, like, I'm not saying I yeah. don't respond to people, but yeah. you're you're more approachable than most. And I feel like people probably hit you up a little more because of that, which that's not a bad thing. No. But yeah, when people, no one really asks me, well, no, I've gotten some questions about podcasting. And I mean, I answer them. They're easy questions. They Like podcast, it's the lowest barrier of entry of like any medium it is but a high barrier for success it's a high barrier for success but you can't expect that it's just gonna be successful right away yeah so i generally like what's the advice that you dole out because i'm wondering if we match up in our if for, for the advice because i have a couple of things that i always say when people ask me that um my advice for people starting a podcast is focus. If your podcast has a premise, stick to that premise. It's actually not funny when you go off on 25 minute tangents that aren't about what you're talking about. Like people don't like that. Like you and your friends in the room might be living it up, but the people at home are like, I don't fucking know you people. Yeah. And this isn't fun. And so if, if your podcast has a point, stay on point. If it's just like a, like, this is more of a general, like, format where things, it's, it's not like a static thing. So it's fine if we go off on tangents on a podcast like this, because that's what it's about. It's yeah. about seeing where the conversation goes. But if you're like doing like a hardcore history type of thing, don't talk about how your week went. And if you do, edit that out. Yeah. Because it like you're 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 gonna lose people. And also be consistent. That's that's but, my like my number one thing is consistency. Yeah, like when I first started the podcast, when I first started on Pops, like three or four weeks into it, I had to go to New York for uh to I was writing for a TV show. And I like, even in New York, even with knowing very little about how to do podcasts at the time, I hit up, I think it was Stand Up New York, because I knew they had a podcast studio. And I was like, hey, I am uh, I work for Cracked. Can I come record a podcast at your place? And j I did that just to make sure I had an episode out, yeah. because people, people want to hear it. I have, like, tension about a lack of consistency where I'm like, I have to make sure like if I have a weekly show, it has to be done. Like I don't, especially when it's listener supported, like yeah. there's the reason like I'm banking these shows and, and everything like that. And it's because I'm absolutely terrified of not giving people what they paid for or what wow. they expect. I also, I really throw in the whole, like have a, have a reason to have a podcast. Yes. I tell that to people a lot, like have a reason to do this that's beyond just me and my friends are talking which i understand is literally the crux of this show but this is just a sequel to another interview show well there's a difference between an interview show and a show that you say is about a thing yeah but then it ends up not being about that thing it means it ends up just being you and your friends joking around the the winging it aspect of podcasting is is the the it's not going to go well. It's not going to go as well as people think it is. To 
wing it on a podcast and be successful, you have to already have an audience. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's the kind of stuff you can do when you know, you just have a built in audience that's going to listen to you do anything. Like you got to be like Dak Shepard <laughs> to just wing it on a podcast and be successful at it. Yeah. Otherwise it's just every other podcast. And that's like cheating. That's like being Jeremy Piven doing stand up and selling tickets. You know, yeah. like, well, you're not, yeah. it's not the thing you're doing. So, you know, we, there's a lot to build up, in. but I know a lot of people and probably a lot of listeners do want to know about that and how to reach success. And, and you know, I think I've reached a, a mild level of success. And I think that you have, um, obviously you've, you've gotten much further in your success. You've been doing your own thing for much longer. Yeah. And so I did want to address that because I think it is important, especially as people are building that up. They're building up their, you know, like you said, there's a low barrier of entry and it's becoming more and more accessible um, to make sure that if you want to reach success. The other thing that I tell people a lot is I was like, be prepared to work for free for a long time. Oh, yeah. Like, don't expect this to be financially rewarding. And, you know, there's work. Every hour of a podcast takes at least three hours of work. It is. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work. The only like the only way I'm able to to balance it out and put out as much stuff as I do is some stuff will be things I have to put a lot of research into, but then there's shows like Listcast where I just have to find two people and pick five things and the research is done. But either way, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. If you want a podcast that actually makes you money, like you got to figure out how to build that audience make money yeah like if you like you don't need a huge audience like we like unpops is a relatively obscure podcast and network both like we're not huge but we're big enough that i'm able to eat and pay people to help me run this network so like but you got you got to be prepared to put in some work to build that audience. It's not just going to happen. Yeah, it's it's because my audience is so weirdly cultivated that like, you know, I want this show to be more than biweekly, um, but it's just I can't afford it between all the other things that I have to do in order to stay alive. Um, yeah. And so it's like, OK, well, once this hits a certain amount of, you know, patrons, well, then I can afford to pay an editor. Uh, to do x you know two more episodes a week yeah, it's just not free uh yeah. and i'm bad at it i tried it this is not it's not it's not Editing's not that hard you I say could, that you, well did you ask me did you did you ask me i've asked you and you give me information and it is sound good information and i'm terrible at processing it there's just mm. there are certain things i don't like to make excuses but there are certain things that definitely go in one ear and out the other for me it's not a choice it's not a lack of interest. It's just some things are hard for me. Rude. I'm a rude boo. I'm a rude dude with a bad dude. I don't know what you want from me about that. 